What's going on YouTube? Giosno right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you using the uncovered jailbreak. A new exploit is going to be used which is definitely much better and faster which of course means a better jailbreak and a more stable one. So just a few hours ago Pound Own posted quote the MaxWap2 exploit by IB Sparks will soon be implemented in Uncover for all pre A12 devices on iOS 11 all the way up to iOS 12.1.2. This exploit is incredibly fast and reliable. Now this is pretty much exploiting the same vulnerability as many other exploits so you can see CVE 2018-6225 however Ben Sparks made this exploit very very well it works very fast and of course it does a job in just a few seconds which is much much better even compared with the voucher swap exploit by Brandon Azad so replacing the old one with this one in here would mean that we pretty much get a faster jailbreak and a much more reliable one now Pawn has already updated the 4k devices with this exploit however the other devices need to wait a little bit he said quote uncover version 3.0.0 beta 41 was released with the max swap exploit by ib sparks with 95 percent success rate for all 4k devices on ios 11 all the way up to ios 12.1.2 and more so if you want to download that on your 4k device and you want a very fast and of course reliable exploit you can go ahead and here on the uh, uncover releases it's beta 41 and of course you download it from here. The IPA file should be available and you can use CDI Impactor in order to pretty much sideload it to the device. Now this is pretty much how it works. I'm going to tell you why it's important to replace the exploit especially on the iOS 11. So as you can see we have a very big range iOS 11.0 all the way up to iOS 12.1.2. Now this is a huge range pretty much spanning on three different jailbreaks. One for iOS 11.0 all the way up to iOS 11.1.2 and then of course the one from iOS 11.1.2 all the way up to iOS 11.4.1 and then of course from iOS 11.4.1 all the way up to iOS 12.1.2 so you can see that it's a huge range now the reason he does want to swap them is because this one is actually very very fast and compared to the VFS one and of course the multipath one that we had on iOS 11 which required various signing techniques in order to pretty much you know insert the multipath entitlement and of course the VFS one was dreadful this one is actually very very fast so by swapping them, Pound Own is pretty much going to create a very fast and reliable jailbreak for both iOS 11 and iOS 12, which doesn't require any special signing and so on. So this is why he is trying to use the uh, MaxPop2 exploit by IB Sparks. Now the exploit has been updated recently to not require as many offsets, which makes it even better because of course it means that there are less points of failure in the exploit. So yeah, this is a very very good thing. So once this is pretty much implemented, you're going to have a very stable iOS 12 and iOS 11 jailbreak and you no longer need to worry about multipath or VFS failing and so on. So there will be a single exploit for all these devices on all these iOS versions which is definitely great. However I do not think the A12 devices will be supported for the moment with that exploit because Ben Sparks doesn't have an A12 device so there is no way for him to update the exploit right now. Anyways thank you for watching, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, I am Geosnow and till the next time Peace out.